Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 13 with the series here and I know it's been a long time since I've had Terra Genesis episode 13 up but I had a little bit of an issue and I will show you what that issue was. So we ended up getting solar activity plus 60 and I thought that this would stop but it never did. So eventually, eventually our temperature levels maxed like reached pretty much all the way up to the top all of the water evaporated and all of the animals died and it absolutely got out of control. So I actually had to pretty much like restart the whole planet. Well, I didn't restart the whole planet, but I, this is the same planet. Um, but what I ended up doing is I ended up having to spend like the last two weeks trying to essentially get it back to where it was. So this is where it's at now. It's actually looking pretty good. We're seeing a lot of green here. That's because if we go into the biosphere... I've actually gone ahead and made a couple of different things, although I see that things are becoming threatened and endangered, which I was kind of worried about. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that now. And that's going to be what this episode's about, is trying to fix it. And we're going to try to get the planet nice looking before we win the game. We're also at Mars 8808, which is hilarious. So let's go ahead and get a new type of bacteria. I think we'll go with something that's got good tolerance. I don't want a lot of support. Okay, this offers a, offers a lot of support, so I will take that. Low water tolerance, so let's do that though, because we can do a low water tolerance and then we should be able to do this, maybe, no, you know what, we'll just take that, we can give them a low metabolism, what's their support score, projected health, let's make them um, extremophiles. And make them uh, airborne. Maybe. We do this, see what happens. Let's see what we end up with here. I might have to tweak these a little bit. Oh, we'll take a look and see. Says they will go to endangered, so I would have to increase this. It's kind of expensive the way I'm doing this. See, that still only puts them to threaten, but that puts them to ramp it, so we can actually. I have them at all the way up here. If we can lower this, that'd be awesome. I wish that this wasn't such a balancing game. I mean, I, I understand why it is, but okay, there, that's healthy. Okay, perfect. So both of these are healthy, not rampant and healthy, threatened and endangered. So we got to lower this, which is fine because I, yep, I had it cranked up a lot. So this is already starting to balance our ecosystem a little bit more. You can see I haven't messed much with the aquatic side. That's still putting them at ramp. Okay. Plants looking really good though. I just got to get some trees. And then the water is something I got to work on as well. We got one herbivore and one carnivore, which we got to deal with. Okay. So this is all healthy. These guys are threatened, but we can go ahead and increase this, which should also increase our carnivore a little bit because we'll have a lot more support. Because the carnivore is going to have a lot of food. So how's that go? It's a lot better. Let's go ahead and increase this. We actually weren't doing any conservation for this. So dump a lot of money in that. Especially because I cut money back in some other areas. Just going to make sure we stay in a comfortable range. Okay, so that overpopulates them for some reason. It might just take a while to kick in too, I've noticed. Yeah, they're still going to be overpopulated. That might just be... Okay, we'll do no conservation see where that gets us. As these go up, they, they might become overpopulated because they got such a large abundance of food. Um, Even if they're going to stay... Okay, so that keeps them healthy. These guys are still threatened, so that's nice, actually. So now I'm only boosting this for the most part. 
And I can actually balance that if I create another herbivore. But if I do another herbivore, I would need more food. I'd need more plants probably. These are both kind of high though. We could probably do another herbivore. That would help our carnivore population. Or I'd like to do trees. The planet's looking green. I'd like to get it greener. What's this? No. But that's not really going to help us. It's, if, anything, it's, if anything, it's going to make them even more overpopulated, which I guess we could just keep cutting it back. They're pretty good right now. Okay, let's do trees. Lots of support required, but uh, support offered. Ah, it produces oxygen. What are we at for oxygen? Not sure if I really want to up oxygen. It's minus one, so it would only be plus one. But oxygen's already a little bit too high. So... Let's not. Ooh, what the heck? Let's do a microorganism for the water. Let's do plankton. They got a good birth rate. We'll do a large plankton. We'll give them a low metabolism though. And we'll make them beautiful maybe. So they should be pretty healthy. Yep. They'll just end up being... They'll be healthy. They'll just end up kind of... Uh, Though they won't grow as quick, but once they're there, they're there. So, yep, 103 percent is pretty nice, and then we can do some algae. Oh, yikes! Luckily, they survived it. These guys are almost dead, but they're getting up there. I just made them though, so everything else is going pretty good. It's just this that's that is threatened, but we'll let that go up higher. Yep, let's do the algae. Let's do kelp. Let me see. No, we don't want the oxygen increase. Plus 10, plus 2 oxygen. Low and high. Let's do the tolerances. Uh, for this, I'd like to take delicate. Minus 30% to all tolerances. But if I give them extreme... Extremophile. They don't offer a lot of support, but they get the tolerances up there and then give them fruit bearing 297 percent it's really high I'm gonna have to scale that back a lot they should produce income 5400 so what if I put this at 5400 and zero them out and then I just got to give them a predator. If I give them a predator or something that eats them, then they won't be an issue. Oh, it actually says they'll be threatened, so that's perfect. So they should actually produce money for me, which would be nice. I always like trying to get the crops to be fruit bearing or cash crops or such. I just find it nice to have the income. I don't usually use the income for anything other than to offset these. Like if, okay, if I take this and then I put that back to zero, it'd be nice. But if I have to, you know, make more of it, that's kind of how it goes. There's actually a better way to do this, but let me, if you actually go on offered and received, it's supposed to. So if it's, it's not receiving any type of support, it's offering support. This screen's a little, I kind of understand it. And I don't. So support score 1.0 is the support received. So if I click on this, it should tell me it's offering 0.3. It's receiving three support score three and three. So there's a couple different stuff that goes into this. Either way, both of these are going to be night. Oh, crap. Don't worry about that. It's just my blue stacks app. I use to play this. So yeah, that's actually not bad. And these are looking good except for this. Let's look at this. It's not receiving, obviously offering I'm not as important. So it's just not receiving enough support. 
This is not offering, but it's receiving a lot. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh, it's too late to avert entirely our sciences. I propose a unique solution. Ryland impacts which result in the release of gases that thicken the atmosphere. We can nudge it to air break it through the atmosphere, releasing water and oxygen as it burns up and leaving the pressure unchanged. Either way, we expect no damage from the collision. Um, gases that thicken the atmosphere will aero break. The atmosphere has is increased by uh, our sea levels risen by uh, expected no damage was reported. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, so current health 56. So they're just not they're receiving plenty enough. They're not offering it. So we need to put some some here. So they're offering they're giving out a little bit more there for the other species. 144 so they're rampant that gets them up to healthy that's kind of rough okay so the other way i could do it then is i cut their support back and i make another herbivore which might off balance these but let's see let's see what we get here let's go with a let's do an amphibian right no i like the mammal a lot of birth rate though so something that doesn't have as much Birth rate, maybe, or everything else is. All right, we can offset that. A lot of tolerance will just offset the birth rate. If we give them... If we give them... Let's see. Right there. Pair. They all, there's more support there. And less birth rate. So that offsets that right there. Projected health 93%. That's pretty good. I'd like to keep it around there. So what else do I need to give them? More support, but more support's required. Low metabolism. Less support, less birth rate. I'll take that, actually. And that would offset both birth rates but it costs cost me for that that we don't want social behavior i think that's offsets the birth rate offers more support takes more support offers more support we already did that Less support required, less birth rate. So these guys will have a really low birth rate, but they'll have, they won't consume a lot of support. So they shouldn't affect my plants too much and they should help the carnivores. So let's see what we got. Both these are rampant now. Interesting. These are healthy still. Now these guys are rampant. Okay. So this is good. This is actually good. This is what I want. So now we can cut this back a lot. That'll save us the money there. Okay, back down the threat, and that's fine. These are healthy, healthy. Okay, these went to healthy. Okay, 55 should do it. And these are all healthy. Nice, so we got a really balanced ecosystem. So once these all flush out nice, the planet should be pretty green. They're healthy. Nice, these guys will be a little rampant. We can cut that back some, probably. Not that it's a big deal. I just want to get everybody a healthy. Perfect. Okay. And the last thing left to do, I think, is I wanted to upgrade these. Like so. Because we're going to work on the aquatic species a little bit, which I'll probably do off camera. So we actually got the last culture point we need to win the game, but I'm going to, you know, obviously I want my plant to look nice. So I'm going to spend, this will be this episode, then we'll have probably one more episode. And the last uh, episode will be me showing off what I do. So off camera, I'll probably finish up the rest of the aquatic 
species so we can have a well-balanced aquatic ecosystem. For the uh, terrestrial, it's looking really good. I've got two of almost everything except for the carnivores. I don't want to introduce two carnivores. I think one's enough for what's going on here. So we'll actually be able to see the planet next time when all of this kind of spreads out. So we should have a much greener planet. Let's see, healthy, healthy. Uh, these are almost capped out though. So I may introduce, may introduce like one more plant. It's very possible. I'll have to definitely do the upgrades just in case I want to. So we'll just have these so I've got them. That just makes sense. And then, yeah, and then we'll probably spend our culture point. We'll win the game and take a look at the planet, talk a little bit about it. But it's looking really good, actually. It's looking like a nice green Mars. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.